Hi friends, now we are going to talk about what are the different tables that gets called in the new BP transaction code that is there for SPS4 HANA that is used for creating vendor, uh, customer as well as employee. Okay, so first what we are going to do is we go and activate the trace. For activating trace, we go to ST05, very simple, and here click activate trace. That's it, done. Now we are going to create a new session. Okay and we are going to go to bp transaction once we are going here we are going to select here you will see vendor number i'll select customer number okay because i'm going to check customer now okay and i'll click start and here i'll just double click on it let's see once i double click on it there is a customer and here you can see this is the business partner general you have financial accounting so if i go to the business partner general it will take me to the general data if i go to the supplier oh, i shouldn't go to the supplier because there is supplier still but i'll go what i'm going to do is i'll go to the customer financial accounting okay so here if you notice the supplier as well as the vendor is the same number now here if you notice there will be payment transaction and all those things so that's it this is good for me for now now let me see whether we have some company code data so here we get company code and here you can see the customer payment transaction which is empty which is fine we want to just track which are the different tables that gets called in this transaction now what i'm going to do we'll quickly go to the other transaction i'll click the deactivate trace and then i'll click display trace here okay and here i'll just change this this you don't need to do for this system i only have to do and here i'm just going to execute and here it will say you have more than because bp transaction is really means it has a lot of tables that gets called and now here i'll do a search of the the number so what i'm going to do is very easy copy this business partner number and i'll do a search and i'll say display number of hits and we'll see how many things get called oh it's getting called in a bunch of places okay so here you if you notice but see, this this thing will get called a bunch of times okay so i think what i can do is probably i'll give some key feed one two three okay and that's to the hits number of hits it didn't change okay it's the same so this will be getting called a bunch of times so we will see see but zero two zero that's another table so this is the table you can see here the mouse okay so what i'm going to do is now hrp 1001 gets called that's related with hr but it tries to find some roles and all those things and then you have but zero is that's a new new table you will see for sure but 100 is very very important and there is again hrp 1001 table and there are other tables that gets called okay so so we are just in 10 i don't want to waste the whole time going through all these things but what i'm now going to do is i want to create something that we might see we might think that okay in a one is gone now there is business partner now which i will break the thought you have if you go now k in a one is still there and if i go now to search with k in v1 it's still there so it's still there so those things have not changed okay if you notice if it was vendor related it would be lfv1 and all those things those are still there adrc table is still there so these are very important stuff that you can easily find out which are the tables associated with it and you can use in your another important table if you see is the customer link and the vendor link that you have to probably match map up with the gui id that we got somewhere okay in the tables and then you have to map it down so these are very very important stuff that you have to know so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great